Lei Jun, the founder of Xiaomi Technology, is a prominent figure in the Chinese business world. He announced Xiaomi Technology was officially entering car business in 2021. Why did he wholeheartedly enter the fiercely competitive field of new energy vehicles? Why did he stake the future of Xiaomi Technology on cars? To answer these questions, let's delve into Lei Jun's own experiences. In this edition of the Curiosity Club, we will clarify the background and interpret the significance of Xiaomi Technology's automotive development strategy. Lei Jun was born on December 16, 1969, in Xientao City, Hubei Province. In 1987, he entered the Computer Science Department at Wuhan University, displaying extraordinary talent and creativity from the start of his university journey. He graduated in 1991 when China's reform and opening up were in full swing. The electronic information industry, represented by computers, was flourishing, leading to a high demand for computer talents. Despite being initially assigned to work at a research institute of the Beijing Aerospace Department upon graduation, enjoying the desirable status, Lei Jun soon realized that this stable and comfortable job was somewhat limiting. It constrained the full expression of his capabilities, prompting him to resign in search of new opportunities. During this time, he encountered his first mentor in his professional career, Xiao Bojun. In the 1990s, before the widely used Microsoft Windows emerged, personal computers primarily ran on the English text-based MS-DOS operating system. To popularize computers in China, a crucial challenge was enabling the input and output of Chinese characters. This led to the development of the UCDOS Chinese operating system and the WPS word processing system. This development facilitated the widespread use of personal computers in the field of document processing. It even gave rise to numerous computer typing shops on the streets, marking the gradual integration of computers into the daily lives of the Chinese people. Xiao Bojun, the programmer who developed the WPS software, became well-known among computer enthusiasts during that time. On November 4, 1991, just a few months after graduating from university and moving to Beijing, Lei Jun encountered Xiao Bojun, the admired creator of WPS, at a computer exhibition. After several contacts with the enthusiastic Xiao Bojun, Lei Jun resigned from his job within the system in early 1992 and joined Kingsoft Corporation. He took on various roles, including development manager and general manager. Following the restructuring of Kingsoft Corporation into a joint stock company in 2000, Lei Jun became the president of Kingsoft Software. Lei Jun spent 16 years at Kingsoft, witnessing its growth and leading the company through its IPO. Despite facing challenges such as market competition, pressure from industry giants, and technological issues that prevented significant expansion for Kingsoft as a traditional software company, Lei Jun gained valuable experience in enterprise management and marketing. He accumulated wealth and underwent the entire process from internal development to capital market support. All these experiences proved crucial when he later founded Xiaomi Technology. On October 9, 2007, after eight years of strenuous efforts, Kingsoft Corporation finally went public on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Just a week later, Lei Jun resigned from his position as CEO, citing health concerns. With Kingsoft's listing and the sale of Joyo.com in 2004, Lei Jun achieved financial freedom. Suddenly finding himself with free time, Lei Jun entered retirement and felt a sense of emptiness, stating that life had lost its purpose. Despite this, Lei Jun retained his curiosity for new things, especially in the field of technology. Having amassed a substantial fortune, he contemplated his next steps. He made a smart choice, angel investing. This allowed him to play the role of a benefactor, observe the industry elites from a godlike perspective, and tap into fresh ideas and perspectives. Lei Jun invested in more than 20 innovative enterprises, including UC, Lacara, and VNCL. During this process, he recognized the potential of the internet industry and made a strategic decision to re-enter the internet sector. With his second entrepreneurial endeavor, he wholeheartedly dedicated himself to Xiaomi technology. Re-entering the internet isn't by chance. Lei Jun was into the internet early, like the first generation of internet users in China. Let's talk about Fidonet. Before the internet became common, 
Fidonet was the most famous BBS network globally. In 1991, it came to China and was renamed CFIDO. It was prevalent from 1993 to 1998, a hobbyist network system where computer enthusiasts connected through phone lines. There were hundreds of sites nationwide, with tens of thousands of users. CFIDO users were among the earliest netizens in China, including many internet celebrities. For example, Ma Huateng of Tencent was the head of the Shenzhen station, and Xiu Bojun was in charge of the Zhuhai West Point station. Even though Lei Jun got into the internet early, it was more of a hobby. When leading Kingsoft, he treated it as a traditional software business and didn't fully transition to the internet. It wasn't until 1999 that an internal division was set up in Kingsoft to run a software download site called Joyo.com. In 2000, they began transitioning to e-commerce. Although the e-commerce phase didn't make much money, selling it to Amazon later brought in some profit. Perhaps it was these experiences that made Lei Jun realize the importance of seizing the right opportunity. Kingsoft struggled through several ups and downs in the traditional software industry until it went public to make money. In contrast, Joyo.com effortlessly gained substantial funding by catching the internet wave. Lei Jun learned that choosing the right direction is more crucial than working hard. Due to not picking the right trend, he always felt like he was putting in double the effort for half the result. Maybe these experiences prompted him to make a complete leap from the traditional tech industry to the internet tech sector, and the subsequent creation of Xiaomi technology doesn't seem surprising at all. While managing Xiaomi technology, Lei Jun fully embraced the mindset of an internet user. Xiaomi, known for its excellent value for money and innovative business model, transitioned from smartphones to building an entire ecosystem. Xiaomi's strategy aimed to create a vast hardware ecosystem that could connect all devices, allowing more people to enjoy the pleasures brought by technology. From 2010 to 2015, Xiaomi entered a period of rapid growth, successfully making it to the Fortune Global 500 list and achieving remarkable success. The brief overview of Lei Jun's professional journey helps us understand the kind of person he is. With this understanding, we can gradually realize why he made the decision to create Xiaomi cars. Indeed, Lei Jun possesses some qualities commonly found in successful individuals. First, diligence and hard work. Lei Jun is diligent and hardworking, meeting the most fundamental and essential requirement for success. During his time at Kingsoft, Lei Jun worked 16 hours a day, 7 days a week, often sleeping only 4 to 5 hours a night. His ability to consistently be hands-on and work diligently showcases his commitment and work ethic. Second, respect for the market and users. Lei Jun started as a modest and unassuming programmer, initially focused on achieving higher technical proficiency. His mission was to create impressive, outstanding, and superior products. However, he realized that these might not necessarily be what users truly needed. While leading Kingsoft, he faced challenges from Microsoft's competition and harsh market realities, pushing the company to the brink of bankruptcy multiple times. These experiences made him recognize the market's ruthlessness, prompting the need to adapt himself to it. After going through these challenges, Lei Jun transformed from a mindset of technology first to market first. Third, understanding the trend. Lei Jun has learned the valuable lesson of going with the flow, a realization gained through numerous painful experiences. While the Hong Kong listing of Kingsoft in 2007 should have been a cause for celebration, Lei Jun felt quite frustrated, realizing he had chosen the wrong track. He expressed, I picked the wrong track, it's impossible to achieve large scale in this industry. The force of trends is powerful, and Lei Jun, in his own words, stated, when I was young, I was very arrogant. After the age of 40, I understood the importance of going with the flow. To achieve greatness, it's like I mentioned before, when the typhoon comes, even pigs can fly. If you can maintain the attitude of a pig, you can also succeed. As of now, despite challenges, Lei Jun's every move has been in tune with the direction of the times. So why Xiaomi chooses to make cars? The answer is. Lei Jun's decision to enter the field of new energy vehicles without hesitation is linked to the development bottlenecks faced by Xiaomi in recent years. 
Rapid growth can mask a company's problems, but once the growth slows down, all issues become apparent. At the current juncture, Xiaomi is at a turning point, with financial reports indicating a continuous decline in performance for consecutive quarters since 2022. Faced with this situation, Lei Jun had to find new growth opportunities. He had a choice, to continue focusing on the core products of smartphones, TVs, and routers, or to align with industry trends and explore new growth avenues. Lei Jun has already made his decision. In March 2021, he posted on social media, stating, the only way for Xiaomi cars to succeed is to become a top 5 player, delivering over 10 million cars annually. The challenge is enormous. This marked Xiaomi officially entering the electric vehicle industry. The logic behind Xiaomi's venture into the automotive industry is now clear. They must ride the fast track of new energy development and seize the momentum of new energy vehicles. Lei Jun aims for Xiaomi to become a top player in the industry, delivering millions of cars annually, establishing a new growth point to overcome the current challenges and maintain competitiveness in the fiercely competitive tech market. Lei Jun's confidence and determination in the automotive venture is obvious while the question remains. Will the market eventually accept Xiaomi cars? Only time will tell. After all, luck plays a role in the components of success. In the next episode of the Curiosity Club, we will delve into what kind of Xiaomi car Lei Jun aims to create. Stay tuned for more insights. Feel free to like, follow, and subscribe.